Hi folks, Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV. Today we're going to look at a 2015 Shasta Oasis travel trailer. Um, this particular floor plan is the 25RS. Now Shasta's been doing this a while. In 1941 they started making travel trailers for the mobile industry, actually for mobile military houses is what they were using them for. And here they are 74 years later still around and making great travel trailers. Um, give, give you some quick features on the outside of this and then I know everybody really wants to see the inside so um, let me give you some highlights here. First of all, this does come with power awning on it. Um, and with this power awning, it also has the auto uh, water runoff feature where if water starts to pool on your awning, it will actually, because of these struts, um, auto adjust itself to uh, occasionally dump a little water. Now, if it's raining hard or the wind is blowing, of course you want to bring your awning in. That's the whole idea of power awning. You don't even have to go outside to do that. But um, for just a little bit of water or condensation, um, it, it, will, it will get rid of that all by itself. This also has easy lube axles on it. Um, you got the center grease cirques right here behind that rubber cap where uh, before your trip for a little peace of mind you can give it an extra shot of grease. Now that does not mean you never have to repack wheel bearings. Of course that's still part of regular maintenance with any travel trailer but this is uh, like I said a little peace of mind in between packing your wheel bearings right before that big trip. trip give them a little extra um, grease in there and, and you travel with great peace of mind. Um, like a lot of travel trailers, your, your sewer hose will store back in your bumper. We like the manual jacks on here and we optioned them in with this. Um, I think there's a, a, a real benefit to manual jacks in that they are a, a much stronger two-leg scissor style jack. Your little power jacks sometimes aren't the greatest just because they, they, they're, they're a one-legged jack and as soon as uh, they hit the ground they quit stabilizing. Um, these you can actually get quite a bit more stabilization out of and if you want them to be power just bring your power screw gun with you with a three-quarter inch socket on the end of it and voila you've got power jacks. Um, your gravity fill for your fresh water tank is on this side as well easy to get to nice and low. Um, as you can see, we've got storage compartment uh, that's a, a pass-through storage. Um, goes all the way through, obviously. One of my favorite features with the Shasta product, they do something different than anybody else with the entry door. This is called a friction hinge on the door. In other words, it will stay wherever I put it. Now, most travel trailers, what you have is that little plastic tab on the back where you actually latch it to your camper. The problem with that is sooner or later you or someone else doesn't realize it's tethered and comes along and tries to slam the door and the inevitable happens. Uh, one of two things, either the little plastic tab breaks or you rip the screws right out of the side of your camper. Either way, it's not good. Um, the friction door really, I mean, it, it'll stay where you want it to stay. Um, and, and unless the wind is just really strong, wherever you want it to stand at, that's where it's going to be. So um, I think that's a nice feature. I think that'll catch on throughout the industry, if I'm not mistaken. Up high, you have an amber light that's obviously going to give you a little light out here um, under your patio, but also attract less bugs. Um, so tinted windows, as you can see. We have some very nice features on this. And... Uh, I think it's time we take a look at the inside. Like I said, I know that's what everybody really wants to see on these anyway. Hi folks, Chris Anderson from Mount Comfort RV. We are in the 2015 Shasta 25 RS. Now, one of the things uh, I, I failed to mention on the outside, but let me hit it while I'm thinking about it. There's another model that's just like this. It's called the, the uh, Shasta Flight. The Shasta Flight is basically the same thing, only instead of aluminum skin on the outside, you actually have fiberglass, the smooth side walls on there. A few more fancies like aluminum wheels and sometimes an oven and stuff like that and the price goes up just a smidge. Um, so if, if you uh, are discounting this camper because you say, boy, I, I want one with smooth sides on it, so you, you aren't considering this one, well, consider it because I have the same thing um, with smooth sidewalls available. So not a problem at all. Just let us know what you prefer. With that in mind, let's take a look at this floor plan. Now this is a little bunk model floor plan, but it's different than a lot of them. Um, first of all, we're still very lightweight on this camper. Um, you'll see the, the exact weight listed on the website where you're watching this video. Um, but we have a slide out and it's not a dinky slide. A lot of times you have a slide that's only about half this deep or it just has the sofa or the booth on board. This slide's a pretty good size slide. It's got a good depth to it, at least two feet. And you have the refrigerator and the sofa um, on, on the slide out. So really opens it up nicely in here. This is a jackknife. Of course, it will turn into a bed and there's actually storage underneath as well. <laughs> up in the kitchen area here, we have a three burner cooktop, microwave with the hooded hood and fan vent, double sink. So plenty of room to wash those dishes. 
You even have outlets where you can get to them. That's a, that's a nice feature. Okay. Um, what I'm walking on now, and, and this is a little different than, than most lightweight campers, a lot of times you end up with a, a, a laminated floor. And on a laminated floor, what you're re really walking on underneath the, the vinyl covering is a layer or two of Luon, which is, folks, that's paneling they glue together. That's your floor, not on a Shasta. First of all, all the way throughout this camper, studs are built 16 inches on center, just like your house. Same thing is true in the floor. Your decking that's underneath this vinyl on here is actually tongue and groove plywood. It's just very similar to how a house is constructed, using tongue and groove so that they interlock and basically that eliminates squeaks, what have you, or, or, or being able to see the seams. The flooring that you see in here is actually has a three-year warranty on the flooring against freeze cracking, um, and, and that's been a big problem in our industry for a while because companies keep going to cheaper and cheaper, cheaper vinyl floors. Now Shasta didn't do that. They actually use one that uh, is going to stand up for the long term. Not to mention, it's beautiful. Here's one of the neat features of this, two big bunks. Everybody's using these bunks that are anywhere from 24 to 30 inches wide. These are 48 inch wide bunks. Two adults can sleep here if necessary, or bigger kids, you know, you can sleep here comfortably back in here, okay? There are lights in each bunk. As you can see, we do have them well lit. So big bunks instead of little bunks. That's a, that's, that's a big feature. Also, bathroom. All in one, the sink, the toilet, and the shower, all in one room, just like at home. You got a little bathtub there. And uh, so if you have kids or small pets that might be stinky during the camping trip and need to be hosed off, you, you, you've certainly got the space to do it. And it's a foot flush toilet, not the hand flush toilet. So keeping your hands away from all the yucky things. A Little bit of storage here. Whether this is extra clothing or towels for the bathroom. And then, ball bearing full extension drawer glides here okay booth you have storage under this part of the booth okay up here this is where your television would mount nice spot for that you can also add a DVD player what have you now the neat part about the Shasta is we're trying really hard to keep the price down as well so you're not going to see you know the TVs and stuff included if you want that stuff we can add it later but this is one of the most price competitive travel trailers in the industry but they didn't cheapen it by cheapening the structure they cheapened it by hey bring your own TV to the equation here um, and that'll help keep the cost down uh, but they certainly did not uh, did not cheapen structure at all let's take a look up in the bedroom okay we have storage on either side of the bed for hanging storage I'll see if we can get a shot of that there we go beds here this is a walk around queen bed and it lifts up and look at the storage underneath here and that also has access to your pass-through storage we have outlets on both outside walls here so if you want to charge a cell phone or if anybody's got a breathing machine or anything they need to plug in they can certainly do that so you're good there your air conditioning is ducted through the roof it's uh over here for our cameraman sorry surprised him with that one um, your air conditioning is ducted, your heat is ducted, um, and, and like I said, if you like this model, only, hey, I want fiberglass on the outside, we can do that, that's not a problem at all. Folks, I hope this answers your questions on a uh, Shasta Oasis travel trailer. It's a great company. Um, we sell a lot of them, and, and, and one after another goes out without any, uh, any problems whatsoever. So give us a call, let us know if we can help you out. Again, my name is Chris Anderson. I'm with Mount Comfort RV. Thank you.